Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I guess this is going to be technically episode 3 of uh, Realistic Progression Zero. And we have just about finished our first Victor Bravo, which is going to be our attempt for an orbital rocket. Let's go ahead and work until that little guy is done. But we've also unlocked uh, Early Construction, which I think gives us some different tank types. So while well, we're going to let that finish and get it started rolling, out to the pad, 17 hours, we're going to go back and edit Victor Bravo 2, maybe uh, update some of these tank types just in case this flight fails, and you know, we can try again in 110 days. I would really like to know when we unlock uh, a second production line. So it's fuselage, service module, cryo. Cryo should not be unlocked. Default. And we'll fill it with ethanol. Yeah, except the tonnage is going to be way over, so we need to default ethanol. Cryogenic should not be unlocked yet. That's, that's bound to be a mistake. So all of these should be default. They don't need to be pressurized. Default, not pressurized. Default, not pressurized. Right. Moving up here. Default, ethanol. I don't think the AJ-10s are pressure fed, are they? Pressure fed ignition, so they do need to be pressure fed. But we can switch them to service module. Which, what's the difference here? Fuselage and service module? Uh, apparently nothing. But whoa. What just happened? Okay. Um, and we still need to drain these tanks. We're gonna fill them on the pad. What the shit keeps happening? Why did what? That. What's our time? We're 82, so we still need to drain more fuel to fill it on the pad. There we go. Now we are under our tonnage limit by a whole hell of a lot. Alright. Save edits. So our second version of this rocket will probably be uh, a lot better. But in the meantime, we're going to try to launch our initial version during the day. So it's going to have to sit on the pad for a little bit. Doop, doop, doop. Can I just hit work to next morning? Yeah, it'd be really cool if we could actually see this launch. Alright, launch. Oh, I f damn it. Contracts. Did I already accept the contract? We'll check. This might take a little while, so. Then there's that. I do have to kind of keep my eyes on the time. I've only got uh, a little while for this episode. I know, that's... <laughs> well, that's too hard YouTube now. Three hours for two episodes. They're going to have to get cut down. I don't feel so bad about it. Nathan Kell's uh, tutorial series averages about an hour and 20 minutes per episode. All right. These are crude. First artificial satellite. Here we go. Periapsis above 150K. That's all we have to do. So, let's... Filled, getting filled, getting filled. Go ahead and set our throttle state to zero. Turn SAS on. All right, looks like we are topped off and ready to rumble. Everything here looks good, so three, two, one. Start our roll towards orbit. Uh, 
it's so much easier to fly with this AS. the average is not saying this one will fail in 21 minutes it's really, really got to last for about two but you know here's hoping please please don't fail All right. I should have been pitched a lot lower a lot sooner All right, we're gonna come up on fairing up here in a second let's just go ahead and do it so that's good
That's it. We are in orbit. Hallelujah. All right. Just one second, everybody. All right. That was weird, but uh, we got tell me we got the contract. First artificial satellite. Yay! And we, man, we had so much fuel left in the stage. I should have just let it run. And really, we we were in orbit after those solids hit. So now we can use this to power oh, the battery. We're, maybe it'll last. We'll, we'll get what we can. Oh, I. Tropics. Oh, wrong button. Come on. Alright. Space Deer Tropics. Gotcha. 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 Set that one. Sweet. Eight K textures totally paid off. Um, no, we totally have grasslands already. I don't know what I'm thinking. Got okay, grasslands, water, tropics. And now it's nighttime, so I already got no clue. But, uh, water, 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 grassland, desert. Australia. Shores is going to be hard to get. I guess I need shores, highlands, and mountains. We missed. We got lots of charge left, though. This will probably go a couple orbits. Uh, I just don't know how much patience I have for that. Facing straight down to show me what I'm over, because that would be amazing. Nope. I missed it. Chores. Grasslands. Dang it. Alright. Good job. Highly successful. Highly, highly, highly successful. Now maybe we can spend some of the science that we just got. Amazing. So yeah, 60 science. That's amazing. Basic avionics. I think we've got that under research. Basic construction. Basic orbital rocketry. Yeah, that gets us a lot of good engines. I'm not sure how far we can go on the engines we've got. Oh, that, the XLR-81, the Agena, will be super useful as were any of these. The sustainer engine will certainly help us out a whole lot. Ooh. I think that used to be in a different node. I could be mistaken. Alright, um, yeah, we can't not do that. Survivability. In case we want to start bringing some samples back, we'll go ahead and do that. And we already have that one. Node is already being researched. Stability and early probes. Oh, the 1K thruster. And some science. And solar freaking panels. Not red lights. Oh, can I do both? Uh, yes, I can. Research that. Search that. All right. Sweet. And now we've got some upgrade points we can spend. I bought a bunch earlier. 
just so we're not confused about why I have so many now. Get two more research, and then let's check our time tables here. Upgrade, nope, not upgrades, tech. Basic avionics, 87 days, and then basic orbital, orbital rocketry, 182. Victor Bravo in 91 days. So after we launch Victor Bravo 2, then we can build a new launch vehicle. And man, these will be forever. I'd like to have early probes before survivability. Yeah. Sweet. What other contracts we got? Science. Alright. A uh, thousand days. Yeah, we can take that. Sounding rocket high. Maybe some 90 days. We can't take those just yet. Lunar flyby and lunar impactor and lunar, lunar orbiter. I think we're going to have to wait for our next launch vehicle to do that. Spirit analysis. Orbit. Periapsis above 2. Aquaapsis above 2. Periapsis between 550 and 590. I don't know if our current launch vehicle is capable of that, poor old Victor Bravo. Um, but we're certainly going to see how much of an oomph that, uh, that last stage gets us. So, just want to complete that. Do, 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 do. Oh man, come on. For Victor Bravo, ooh, ooh, basically the Onyx. We'll get that first, so that'd be cool. We'll just get that. Oh, I hope we don't have a failure on Victor Bravo too. Are we just gonna go for altitude record, or do we? Gonna... No, we totally need to push this bastard for it. Just why not? Maybe we should go polar. No, not if we want to see exactly how high we can put one of these off this launch vehicle. And the last rivet goes in. Roll it out. Up to complete. And we're going to have to wait until the next one. That's fine. Totally fine. Before we do that, oh, yeah. sounding rocket medium, 140 kilometers easily, and sounding rocket hot height is 4 million. We'll shoot for it. I'm not sure we'll get there. Victor Bravo is on the launch pad. Welcome to the morning. We'll do this at dawn. It's really pretty at dawn, so why not? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Fingers crossed. No failures. No failures. No failures. No failures. Right, fueling. I don't feel like this is cheating. Launch pad fueling. I mean, it is technically. Let's be real. I'm totally skirting around that launch pad tonnage r restriction by like a lot. But, um,. You know, they do fuel these things actually on the launch pad. All right. Throttle zero, six, five.
of a bitch. Oh, oh catastrophic, catastrophic failure. Let's see at least. I don't think we're going to be able to point this thing away from the ground. <laughs> oh, sh God damn it. Right, well, let's turn our CS off for now. Activate one of our Omnis, see if we can't get a little forgiveness on range here. Suicide burn timer is looking like, and I'm willing to bet that we still have enough thrust to weight ratio on this little motor to push this guy back up. So, god damn it, Russia, you screwed me. First altitude at sea level. Speed's not that high, so maybe at 1k we fire it. We'll give it a try. Other parts are hitting the ground. Okay then. Three, two. Three. Damn it. Ugh. Failed engine shutdown. Aerodynamic stresses, aerodynamic stresses, aerodynamic stresses. Alright, well. That was a total failure, and we're totally going to fail some contracts. Son of a bitch. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible time. But at least we can recover those. All right, uh, that's where we're going to have to leave it for today. So thanks, everybody, for flying with me. I uh, appreciate you hanging out. And uh, I will be back in a day or two, and we're going to try to build a new launch vehicle with some of our new cool toys and uh, probably try for some lunar flyby contracts. So uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks.